Okay, I would say that as you like, it takes you... You try to make haste while being careful. Uh, and I still, and I said that it's relatively close. I would only say that it takes about less than an hour uh, to get in the vicinity. Uh, and I would say that uh, one of the Lenny guys, that uh, one of the Lenny's guys that managed to survive, uh, like pfft, come here, as you were moving through the like thick uh, infrastructure, like thick housing. Uh, Packed buildings and uh, using any cover you uh, you can, and you are slowly approaching one of the uh, warehouses. Come here now! Yeah. I right. move over. Yeah, and you are like led to one of the like side buildings. Uh, it's like dark end, like. People not using lights to avoid uh, getting uh, uh, spotted. You see that not you pass a couple more uh, guys, but definitely less of a number than uh, before. It's pretty clear that Lenny already lost uh, somebody. Uh. And uh, obviously, because of the situation, uh, the boss doesn't have his own office. But this fucker somehow still managed to get or rather find. Either they found it or they like carried it from somewhere. Uh, because obviously, this room, pretty ramshackle room that. Uh, still has this mahogany desk? <laughs> no, not desk. <laughs> but uh, like a. He sits in a very nice chair, and that's probably the oh. only, the only like uh, furniture in the room. Furniture in the room that's like looking pretty good. The other stuff is like either broke down or like dusty and just like falling apart. And like this entire place looks like it has been abandoned for some time, or been used used by homeless in uh, like a long while ago. He. Gives you like a. Mm, he appreciates you are here, but he doesn't smile, and like you see, his eyes are like cold uh, and angry, and there's a small flush of pain, and like probably would see that uh, he's definitely using his cane when he stands up because obviously uh, he's gonna be a good host. Ah, gentlemen. And then he like, when he stands up, he like, visibly leans on his like, cane to use it to support himself. Mm. And I'd say that, yeah, you can see that under like, his trousers, like, in one section of the leg, obviously it was bandaged. So he probably was, uh, shot when the raid happened. But they managed to run the fuck away. Yeah. Looks like you took a hit. Yes, well... Uh, dangers of doing business. I will give the fuckers this one. They almost managed to surprise me. They took their sweet time. What happened exactly? Well, I expected some form of repercussions, but it seems like they planned something big and they went hard and sending a lot of their, a lot of their dogs here. Honestly, I cannot remember last time when they went with such force, but, well, I'm not sure if somebody new snitched or if they managed to figure something out that 
this would be one of the locations I would use. But we had guests. We managed to take cover, but... Well, the shipment is still there. I believe you gentlemen remember the message I sent earlier, right? Yes. After man, I'm a man of my word, and a deal's a deal. But, as you understand, the... well... Third party unforeseen element has been added. Added. Uh, the guests from the upper city, the pet dogs of the government. Corpos. Uh, they, uh, they are not really think like it's not really corporation per se. It's like it's uh, literally the government, like basically tyranny. Gabies. Okay. How many? Uh, Roughly. Well, well that could be. They went in with quite a force. My peop my boys managed to take out a couple of them. Uh, there might be in some sections. Uh, I don't think they are still fighting, but uh, at least they forced. Uh, we forced them to spread about. And there, like initially, as he starts explaining, initially there was like a APC with a, like a full platoon. But as the situation like escalated, there was like a firefight. And like they, some of them ran away, so they essentially forced the this particular unit to spread around a little bit. So there are like smaller, like they're not keeping in like a large group, and there are like some three to five man patrols uh, scouting the area, uh, looking for them or just like looking for any other threats. Um, the APC is taking position where it can see the main entrance to the warehouse but as Lenny explains that's not the only way in there have the way of like going into the warehouse um, but inside uh, there are definitely a couple soldiers left and um, you definitely have to like be watchful of uh... and he starts explaining because uh, of a guy that's apparently like was uh, leading them and he had like a uh... Uh, what would be the regular color for like soldiers? Like, instead of like regular color for like the government soldiers, uh, this one had also like visible distinctions that uh, pointed him as someone more important. I would say that, uh, yeah, apart from like the regular uh, coloring and uh, the the apparent leader, uh, the officer that was uh, leading them, that uh, looked like a mean son of a bitch, uh, he had like a heraldry indicating like the high sky symbols. Lenny explains, and you probably would also know that, that it doesn't mean he is directly from the high sky because they are not sending their own people uh, into combat because he, the, the one that Lenny talks about didn't have any TL5 stuff, just regular uh, TL3. Uh, but he definitely like, he explains in a way that allows you to know that uh, one uh, soldier is more dangerous like the apparent like field uh, leader 
which for you as a player gives information that there is one uh, nemesis uh, inside. Nemesis are special types of foe that have some benefits and they provide a bigger challenge when uh, in combat. They can definitely be defeated, it just it provides more spice <laughs> when uh, when fighting. Mini boss. Uh, yeah, essentially. <clears throat> Not good, but. If uh, Lenny could spare some of his men, we could probably take back or uh, fight off the. Uh, Do you have uh, explosives? Something that we could sit off at a distance. Or hell, just a bunch of grenades that I could pull the pins of. I mean, uh, couldn't you pull the pin off of the uh, police grenades, or... I mean, do they have grenades? Um, I, I'm looking, more looking to deal with this APC, which will be an issue. Well, I'm, not mil I'm no military expert, but my initial idea was that while well, you capable, capable gentlemen will be moving through one of my other entrances and like attack from the inside the rest of me boys will be giving you destruction so that the others from the outside will not swarm in and provide reinforcements but if you do have an idea and know how to deal with that APC then I'm all ears well it requires some explosives of some sort but I generally, think... the bottoms don't get that aren't that well armored, are they? Huh? No, they are not. Speaking of explosives, we don't have anything ready, but me, me boys managed to grab whatever they could. Uh, you are, feel free to look around. Maybe you'll find something uh, useful that you can make a makeshift bomb out of it. Who knows, maybe that uh, is another one of your talents. <laughs> I'm not in very good with that improvised stuff. I mean, essentially making bombs also falls under fix uh, skill check. Oh, that. that? That's something you can do then. It will be DC 10 and... Uh, I've, uh, one of the ways you can help is definitely through just looking, notice, just looking through this stuff. And yeah, and help helping like for cut it. down the time needed to actually assemble materials and whatnot. I will help with that then. It's also wisdom, correct? Uh, in this case, uh, yeah, because looking up your background, yeah, that would be like wisdom based, and DC of ten, mm. and you can add like plus one from uh, Ivo helping you. Oh, but without a plus. Like, the window should pop in, like, when you can add other modifiers and... yeah. Alright, there we go. I don't think you counted it. Okay, so that would be 11. Okay, let me double check the stats, because usual demo charge... Uh, ...has, like, 3d10 damage... Uh, in heroic game, you still count damage normally against vehicles. And now I need to find like how that APC would count in terms of hit, po hit points and whatnot. I don't think field was a hit location, so you might just want to see what its armor is and maybe either take off the armor or reduce it for yeah, yeah, yeah. the bottom hit. I'm sure you know what you're doing. 
<laughs> I don't. <laughs> but, uh, We all know that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's definitely doable. Uh, yeah, I have the stats. Okay. So you managed to assemble a piece of improvised explosives. Uh, the question is, how are you gonna deliver it? Oh, uh, I can get under the APC and stick it on there. And then get out of under the APC after. I guess I could even like light it, <laughs> like give it a fuse and light it, and then I disappear before it goes off. I mean, off. because you pass DC, it's uh, like whatever makes sense in fiction. Like that could be the trigger. Like if uh, mm -hmm. Wedge, it, it, it makes sense. Like Wedge could like make some very basic. He found like parts so like very basic like radio receiver. Yeah. So basically, create an IED. Yes, and I'm going to teleport under it, stick it on it, and teleport away. <laughs> I just need to be able to see under it. Noise. Okay. Mm. Which? So I would say, like, finding a good spot where you can, like, it. when you have when you have line of sight, would be a skill check. That's agreeable. Let's see, I'm level 1, and so... And because, yeah, you are not using... I, I can do it up to 100 meters away, so... Yeah, and because you are, like, not using sneak, but probably you have to be, like, either fall under notice to, like, find, like, a good location where you have, like, line of sight, or just basically see, like, no, like figure out who, from where you can yeah. see the, the spot, and while in the meantime... I will ask, uh... Lenny, if he knows a good spot that we can see under the APC from. Yo, oh. hmm. I, I don't know the area that well. We've moved here recently, but I might give you some pointers. So from his know, he gives you like plus one to roll, and the DC. Okay. In this case, because you're like getting, like. S slowly snowball effect like successes I would say DC would be 9 and you already have like plus 1 8 from uh, Lenny I'll ask for some input from Wedge too if he would be willing to give any I mean fluff mm. he might but mechanically you just can't get more than plus 1 from 8 oh like when, when one person already successfully aids you it just you, you can't get more. Yeah, okay. You cannot. You cannot stack more. Then what would this be? Unless we have united, we stand. Yeah, united we stand is like kind of better because uh, when when you help somebody, you give him plus two, so that's already like much better. Okay. I think I find a good spot. Yeah. Uh, give me a moment. I, I, I don't want to go with like the boring option. Oh, they spot you. I want to give you like a hard choice. I'll be going in with my telekinetic armor up just in case, but. Yeah. Uh... Just for that nice 17 AC. Right, 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 right. Hold on, I'm I'm blanking a little bit. So I get I get a vague sense of what I want to offer. Okay, I would still say like I would definitely go through with it because he like thinks he found a good spot. He like mm -hmm. used like knowledge from uh, Lenny. Uh, but as they say, no plan survives contact with the enemy. Uh. So I would say that this is like a very 
for unfortunate circumstances, like you will be able to uh, deploy the. Essentially, my idea is this: like, what will happen? You start teleporting. Basically, slightly uh, just before that, like the vehicle moved a little bit, so you would teleport there, not directly under the vehicle, but like right next to it. You will still be able to jump prone and like under it, or just like. You know, so we can like quickly uh, yeah. put the charge in, uh, but it like won't be completely out of sight, and uh, there will be uh, like two soldiers will be like, "What the fuck?" and they will, like, Yeah, essentially, you'll be able to like sabotage the uh, APC, like the uh, act, uh, like strapping bomb, uh, but and then get out. But before you get out, in that like span of time, uh, two like enemy soldiers uh, will be able to like make an attack roll against you. Sure. Do I get cover from the from being under the APC? Uh, as I said, like. Because it like, happens like so quickly, uh, it, like they can like find the moment when like Astro like dropping by, and then like trying to teleport out. Is this is like you know in a span of fair a enough, moment? Fair so enough. I, I would say like because like yeah, this is like a fail ch check. Like uh, like you don't get benefits from half cover. This is like like. They apparently like reacted, uh, maybe because uh, they already had like weapons in hand, they are on high alert because they are in enemy territory, like in hostile territory, when the risk is everywhere, so they can like quickly react. But they are not nemesis, they are still normal, like your basic uh, military soldiers, so they actually don't get... That many, and because of how the uh, buildings are packed here, um, there are not that many long-range distance engage engagement. So a lot of equipment and weapons worn by the uh, enemies here are like like mid-range, uh, mid to close range, like semi-automatic pistols, submachine guns, combat shotguns, stuff like that. Uh, these guys will be attacking you with submachine guns. Uh, so the one only has plus one, and it's uh, your AC is 17, right? Yep. That's a miss, and the other one. That's a miss. Hilariously, I don't think my telekinetic armor even activates. <laughs> just, it's just a miss, anyways. <laughs> I mean, this is something that, like, you have active, like, it, it's not uh, reactive, I think? Uh, yes, but, like, I don't think there's yeah, even hit yeah, my Yeah, 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 it doesn't even bounce, like, you f <laughs> Because the, this is, like, happening so quickly, they cannot, like, aim carefully, and they, j they just go off with their, like, reflex and just, like, spraying bullets, so you, like, hear mm -hmm. some bullets hitting the mud and concrete nearby you, like, maybe bounce, like, ping ping from the armor of APC, mm -hmm. and there's, like, this, what the f- like, this- Warning shout, and then you like quickly strap in. Uh, what? I think I can like dive roll as I'm rolling, like attach the bomb to the bottom of the APC, and like as I'm rolling back out of under it, like find a line of that's sight what pop to... to pop away. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. And I'd probably try to go towards the warehouse so we could go in that back entrance. Alright. But um, you can... that is what I was planning to start the distraction. Alright. Uh, okay, I would expect that you probably talked about it just before going into action. So mm -hmm. the rest will not be surprised what, what happened and they will be ready to move out. Um... Uh, okay, you can make you can roll three d10, which is like a damage for demo demo charge. And considering you 
placed it underneath and like, you know, to make a distraction. I mean, let's see a roll and depending on the result. 3d10. <laughs> okay, you can roll again. <laughs> Better. Uh-huh. Okay, so I would say um, the explosion doesn't annihilate the APC, but there's like a poof, a burst of flame and like the vehicle ju slightly jumps upwards. And obviously, like the shrapnel from the inside, like tore through uh, into it, uh, but there's so like no. Enough am that it's disabled. <laughs> yeah, there's no ammunition discharge, so the vehicle could be uh, repaired and like be workable. But for now, for the purposes of this scene, this combat, uh, it has been disabled. Like you see some smoke coming out. You know, you know that might actually be a good thing. Uh, what had you call the tow truck? Oh, <laughs> that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say no, but that will be challenging if you want to pull off like stealing an APC. <laughs> what do you think, Simon? Mm. Because remember, do we have any way to store it? Because remember, this is we like... We can find one along the way. <laughs> this is just one platoon out of many. And... Yeah. It probably might be hard to avoid being seen by a drone when you are carrying a military APC. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> if you had like good... I... Really good skill checks and like... And for... The risk outweighs the rewards. Yeah, it would be risky Don't as Don't be too greedy. <laughs> I mean, Is as I said, we're saying? I, I'm not gonna say no, just straight no, but I'm just warning, this will be a pretty steep challenge to pull off with your skill set and in the amount of time that you have, because obviously an explosion and then like this big destruction that the rest of... Uh, like the portion of Lenny's boys that survive, they like start beforehand, before the explosion happened, they moved into their positions. So like mm. they can lay down some fire and just like make another noise and focus, like take the focus onto them. Uh, while a smaller portion uh, with you guys start moving through the side entrance or like the hidden entrance uh, back into the uh, warehouse. Into the warehouse we go. Alright. Okay, Stick when you, to the shadows. Yeah, when you enter, uh, obviously the enemy hadn't found this uh, entrance yet. Uh, but like in the deeper into the warehouse, which is like packed with crates, stacked up high. Uh, like there are no long range like uh, engagement distances like you can this is like a maze of uh, stuff obviously some of the crates are empty rather that, that you can see that they are like fall to the side and they're like emptied out um, like deeper in you hear voices like people talking through like uh, it sounds, sounds like counting like you know Okay, we've confiscated five crates of this, of this. So they are, they have not yet spotted you and they didn't found this place. As to like keep uh, moving. But I will say that if you will want to have a surprise round, like get a drop on them, this will uh, require you to make a, a successful uh, stealth check. Or sneak check, and that will be opposed by the enemy's uh, notice. Ooh, my sneak is minus one. Yeah, I'd say that uh, Ivo and Wedge can roll, and NPCs will make a one roll, and whichever is the highest 
will be like your roll and I'm just gonna roll for the uh, for the enemy so that that's how we're gonna we're gonna tackle this uh, uh, this uh, opposed check all right Dex? Ah, uh, yeah, it's that that sneak is definitely dex based. Okay, which you can also make a sneak. Uh... Although, okay, uh, alternatively, uh, because because of the fuck I took, you you might declare that you are just uh, aiding uh, Ivo, so that will turn his aid into... They just uh, use a uh, standard action to aid him. Yeah, so that would be 10. NPCs, your ally NPCs, uh, I'd say they are like slightly lower trained than... Uh, Military guys, so I'm gonna give them zero, not plus one. Okay, good thing you rolled well. And the and the soldiers, I will just make a single roll for the entire group. Yeah, that would be that much. That would be that much. Okay. Okay, so this will be plus one all in all. Okay. I'm because of the rules we are using I'm not doing like a regular combat map, but I'm just gonna move you where I have all the tokens, including your own. Yeah, you will, you will be able to get a drop on them and you will see that uh, in terms of combatants uh, you have um, Okay, let's... Okay, so I would say that Lenny managed to spare you uh, three helpers It's you guys and uh, yeah uh, in terms of combatants we have um, six enemy soldiers like we are and one you notice like you immediately spot him like knowing what Lenny told you uh, like you spot like a heraldy on his uh, combat field uniform and like you see on his like badge and like uh, on the chest there's like this symbol of high sky faction as in like there's this like a uh, wings with a death uh, like uh, with a skull so like a, this symbol of uh, co uh, combat uh, like uh, high Skype. Okay, so you can uh, roll for initiative. Okay, so that's for helpers. They were too much focused on trying to stay quiet, so they are not. For the soldiers, uh, I'd 
let's say because they are focused they can only roll like that much and for the nemesis he can get <coughs> Because he has alert on level 2 No, not on level 2, on level 1 Just give me a moment, I need to... Nah, no, that's not the case I thought there was like a focus that gave you like straight bonuses to... Like initiative roll, but apparently I am mistaken. Okay, so just for his pure training, he gets uh, only plus one. Okay, because this is a surprise round. Ivo, you are first. All right. Actually, I should just copy. Yeah, I mean, you can you can go go on with your turn. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's your turn. You can declare what you yeah. want to do. I was just getting something ready. I okay. was remembering to commit effort that I've been committing. All right, so. I Where will... exactly are we in the uh This is it, I'm not doing like regular combat map because the way the move actions are made here is like better to just like imagine you are in this warehouse so you can just declare that yeah you are moving from cover to cover, hiding behind crates, moving through this like maze. We're using the second variant, right? Yeah, second variant of move actions, yeah. I just put you here so I can like, you can either both see and I can also track better uh, the amount of tokens and like uh, the amount of like uh, units still in play for this uh, combat. Yeah, I would even say add another thing that as you were like approaching ready good to get a, to get a drop on them, they heard like more firefight coming from the outside. Uh, the leader, the, the field, like the officer with the band, he didn't seem too much concerned. Focus on your I would job. Like to find uh, a better firing position with positioning. Uh, okay, sure, go ahead. Uh, because you have like, I would say that DC would be eight, and you can like declare which skill you are using. I'll be noti using notice with wisdom. Okay. Do I get any bonuses for them not being aware? Or is that added into the DC? I've already like said like normally the DC would be higher. I said DC would be eight. That's fair. Well, I guess they get. It would have been lower if they didn't have Nemesis guy, but they are still like especially him. They're like well trained soldiers, so. Well, I guess to get minus two to AC to my next turn. As I'm going to fucking shoot them. I'm going to go after one of the mooks. Alright. Uh, I need to, like, put an icon. <laughs> what would be the icon? Uh... Okay. Let's just say, like, minus two AC. Oh yeah, and I will have to like remember, if you even like miss, instead of like declaring that you miss, like you have like the options, other options to declare it, even if you like a regular roll would not hit. Mm -hmm. But 21 definitely hits, because well they are all wearing combat field uniforms, and those have 16 AC. And 10 damage converted into heroic rolls is more than enough to like annihilate uh, one of these guys. How does it look? 
Uh, I'm thinking that it's going to just be a headshot straight through him, and then just the telekinetic bullet, which is I use invis my invisible equipment, so is just going actually. Yeah, cause I'm not letting him leave him alive. But uh, it's going to go through the head of one of the nukes, and then it's going to graze the. Uh, Actually, that would be two helpers. Uh, the um, nemesis, <clears throat> as I use my freight eye on him for three damage. Mm, or or first. Well, three on spray dice. True, whatever. you are level. Oh, and then he's still like lower uh, level. Okay. Uh, so three uh, is converted me. into one point. Still a point of damage. Yeah. It doesn't kill him because uh, another like thing for Nemesis, their HP is HP or like their like the yeah the HP instead of like being a hit die so. Like the regular they soldiers, HP. they have like one HP. Uh, the nemesis is their number of hit die times four. So, for example, if this is like soldier nemesis, like the regular military soldier, so he has four hit points, not one. Mm -hmm. Usually. But I can use my fray die on him because I'm a psychic. Because I'm a psychic. Uh, yeah. Even if you didn't wear him psychic, you can use fray die because. Still, he is like his base was uh, like. Actually, no. Let me check if he ha counts as a lesser foe. Probably not, but you are a psionic, so uh, you can always apply your fray die. Yep. It, it's D four instead of D six, but I can use it on everyone. Uh, yeah. Yeah, how, it, how it's uh, written, it makes sense that, yeah, the Nemesis is not considered, like, a lesser foe unless... Like, he would have to be, like, level 5 to consider this Soldier Nemesis a lesser foe. Normally, I would say. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, not level 4, sorry, because it's equal or higher of your uh, hit die. Okay. Uh, That's me. Yeah. Uh, wait. Alright, because you used your remover. Okay, and you hit. Uh, yeah, because you wanted to deal damage, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, you just... So, uh, as the action, like, kicks off, uh, you see just one of the soldiers, which obviously was armored, like, he had his helmet, and just this, like, unseen force just burst through and just splits his head open. <laughs> it's like a spray of blood and brain splattering uh, nearby, and as his body slides, like, in a slow-mo falling, you're already... Uh, like also moving and getting ready to act. All right, I am going to. Uh, by the way, what kind of weapon does the uh, nemesis have? Uh, nemesis. Okay, yeah. He is using. Yeah. I'd say that the soldiers have submachine guns, and the nemesis have a, sub a semi-automatic pistol. All right, uh, I would uh, try to use, uh, or rather, try to disarm the uh, uh, submachine gun from the Nemesis. Uh, the semi-automatic pistol. I mean, you, yeah, so, semi -automatic. So, so you want to go with the main action first, uh, right? Because remember, you have like main action and move action. Yes. Okay, disarm. You expect disarmer, which means they don't get plus three bonus to the three. plus three. Uh, actually, yeah, the thing is, okay, uh, you try to disarm. Like, do you do that in melee? Because that. Uh, are that, we melee? Yeah, that, uh, I mean, you can decide that you want to, but. Essentially, by default, you cannot make a disarming attack with ranged weapon. There is another focus. Uh, oh, focus. I, I thought I was. 
Oh, I thought that that meant that I could uh, basically shoot the uh, gun from his hands. Nah, there is like a different focus. Like the one that you took, uh, like by default, like this arm action is said that you can make, you can use your melee attack to disarm your enemy. And the focus that you took uh, mm -hmm. for now says that the enemy no longer gets a plus three bonus to their roll. So like this is uh, like good. And then the one that allows you to make ranged disarming attacks is... Uh, let me check. Uh, which one was that then? Trick shot? Alright, in that case, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's... In that right. case, I'm not going to uh, disarm him, but to basically... Uh, first move into cover, and to basically shoot at the... Uh, uh, the nemesis. Okay, so you will be using your move action to cover, to find some cover. Uh, yep. Okay, uh, because in a space you are in, uh, otherwise you have to like watch out because not have, like wooden crates, bullet, they don't stop bullets very well. So I'd say that DC to find suitable cover would be 7. Alright, note this. Yeah, note this uh... waste of wisdom. Skills. DC seven. Correct. Just waiting for the. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, which means you get benefits. You manage to like moving throughout the maze of uh, crates and supplies. You manage to find like a very sturdy metal crate or something similar that provides you, gives you benefits of uh, full cover. And let me give like a proper. Yeah, icon. basically one of those uh, roadblock barricades. Yeah. So you get, uh, or other enemies get minus four to hit you. Mm -hmm. um, okay, that was your move action, and then you can make your main action, I imagine, to attack. Yep. Okay, 22 Ooh. is enough to hit. I, I assume you attack oh, the Oh, almost like it. Yes. Uh, Basically, he's adding a little pew pews as he uh, fires his quote-unquote laser pistol. Okay. And I, I imagine you want to deal damage, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, five converts into one point. Yeah. Uh, this is a surprise one, but as he's like... Grace like, the fuck? Fucking hell, we are under... And then he like starts... Yeah. When, uh, we'll get to that. Okay, so that was switch. Uh, soldiers are like the fuck. They're like surprised and like moving in slow mo. And helpers, uh, yeah, they definitely like pretty like fucking hell. It's so out of there. They will try to like uh, at least attempt to take out uh, some of the mooks. I mean, as fluff, uh, fluff wise, I'm gonna say that they they are like trying to move from cover to cover, but they are not exactly military trained. So this is mostly mostly for fluff wise, fluff reasons, and like mechanically, they only like get like one action, so they can like decide to attack. And this is something that I also forgot I did wrong in the first session. Basically, to not get like the very basic mooks, they only get like one action, and like the higher tier enemies, they they can like get regular stuff. Like they can also make move actions and main actions. So also with the action economy, I can make the enemies differ in how hard they can be. Okay, so the helpers, uh, yeah, they're rolling with plus one, and what they might be using.
terms of pistols. I think definitely not something uh, better. Yeah, semi-auto pistols can work. Because some of the some of the good stuff Lenny lost in terms of equipment. Okay, and they try to hit with plus one. Okay, one of those hits, and let's see if how much damage they deal. Uh, same amount of pistol, D6 plus one. Okay, so apparently they are not completely useless. Because six converts into two points, so that's enough to like nail one of the soldiers. And the other one... <laughs> God damn. So apparently, apparently Lenny sent you like a very... Uh... Sent his best. Yeah, their stats not, don't say that, but... Yeah, so to perhaps your surprise, uh, both of the helpers that went with you, they managed to snipe their targets. Or snipe them, they are like let out a couple of bullets and they nail the soldiers. And you're surprised that they're like, like <coughs> and they like fall down uh, backwards. But now the surprise round has passed and the nemesis begins. Considering how is it described... Okay, uh, Nemesis, because he's a Nemesis, I'm gonna say that he d gets a move action and a main action. So for his move action... So for his move action, he definitely like regroup, regroup, and he tries to find a better position so he's not completely uh, like out in the open, and he wants to get like a good solid firing position, like move through the field so he can get a better shot at his enemies, and uh, he's definitely more athletic. So he like can do some a little bit of uh, parkour. Um, what was your uh, DC, Zach? It was eight, I think, when you were trying to do your positioning, right? Yes. Okay. So the same DC will be for uh, the Nemesis, and it doesn't matter like which skill he uses because he's an NPC. They only just get static bonus to rolls, if it makes sense. Yeah, because he's an nemesis, I'm gonna make a with plus two. Okay, even with plus one, that would make, but yeah, he's a, a little bit more close. So he gets uh, plus two bonus to attack, to range attacks, and I'm gonna use this icon to present that. Um, okay, and his uh, main action is fire it's gonna make a range attack he gets uh, this much this much so this one plus four plus two yeah and nemesis by default they get additional plus four bonus to hit so in totality that would be and plus two from the move action. Uh, yeah, from positioning. Okay, and he is... I'd say he trusts 
the remaining soldiers to take care of the like you know gang members he focuses on the first one the, the somebody that basically blew the brains of actually I need to like probably rephrase that but Oh no! Wait, maybe he's not. Shooting me. Yeah, he's shooting you, but I would say that maybe he doesn't really register yet mm -hmm. that you're upsetting. But mostly because, as you try to find a better position, you just made a better target because you opened yourself to his strike. And I believe that still misses. Somehow, <laughs> it does. Yeah. Somehow it's but that one would be off my telekinetic armor. Uh, yeah, it just like bounces. Uh.